Hey there guys, welcome to this video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we are going to be talking about collinear vectors. Right, so we're going to be giving you an introduction to what are collinear vectors. So let's go ahead and get started. So what do you mean by collinear vectors? Collinear vectors are the vectors which actually, so the definition of collinear means something which is on the same line. However, a vector can cruise through anywhere on the plane, isn't it? This vector can actually be drawn here, can actually be drawn here, can actually be drawn here, can actually be drawn anywhere because as long as it has the same direction and has the same magnitude, a vector can actually be drawn anywhere on the plane. So what do we mean by collinear vectors? So collinear vectors are something uh, which have the same slope. So collinear vectors are the vectors so collinear vectors are the vectors which have the same slope. So those vectors are known as the collinear vectors or you can say that which have the same direction. Those vectors are collinear vectors. Now let's say for example, I say that there is a vector, you know, there is a vector 3 comma 4. Okay, so there is a vector 3 comma 4. So how I'm, how I'm actually going to draw 3 comma 4. So this is how I'm going to draw 3 comma 4. But this is going to be 4 and this is going to be 3. Now I want to find all the vectors. Uh, and I want to find a collinear vector for it. Now talk about the slope of this line. Talk about this angle. Now something that you know that tangent theta is actually equal to 4 over 3. So 4 over 3 is actually slope of this line, isn't it? 4 over 3 is actually the slope of this line. Now any vector which is collinear to this vector should also have a slope of 4 over 3. Or the collinear vector of V, so the collinear vector of V is going to have the same slope. It's going to have 4x and 3x where x is actually any number or x uh, you know, you know, the collinear vector is also going to have 4x and 3x. Fine. So let's say, for example, if I say that uh, there is a vector, there is a vector with a and b, right? So the magnitude of v is actually going to be equal to square root of a square plus b square. Fine. So this is going to be the magnitude of v. And let's say there is another vector which is collinear vector of a vector, let's say vector u and it has ax and bx. Fine, so this is something which is a collinear vector. Now the magnitude of u is actually going to be equal to ax whole square plus bx whole square. Which means magnitude of u is actually going to be equal to uh, a square x square plus b square x square. That means magnitude of u is actually going to be equal to x square into a square plus b square. And when x square gets out of square root, I can say magnitude of u is actually going to be x times square root of a square plus b square. That means magnitude of u is actually going to be equal to x times magnitude of v. That means that if two vectors are collinear, if two vectors are collinear, And again, when this x gets out, either plus x gets out or negative x gets out. This is actually very important. When this x gets out, either plus positive x gets out or negative gets x out. So that means if two vectors are collinear, that means let's suppose vector u and vector v are collinear. So either u is equal to xv or v is equal to you know, or let's say u is equal to xp or v is equal to xu, whichever way you want to actually do this. You can say either this is a this is a collinear of this or this is a collinear, actually both are collinear of each other. Or you can even have the x values here, that, you know, then you'll have a different x value. So if two vectors are collinears of each other, then the magnitude would be multiples of each other. They'll actually be multiplied by a number. That means the magnitudes of each other would have a number multiplied to them. So that means I can say that vector a and vector 2a are collinear to each other, isn't it? Because vector a and vector 2a, this just has a 2 multiplied next to it. Another thing is that if the value of x is greater than 0, then they have the same direction. And if the value of x is less than 0, then they have opposite direction. 
understand that it they need not to have the same direction also because two vectors can be collinear and they both can have opposite direction as well so just like uh, in this case over here uh, if I say there is this vector so this vector and this vector can be collinear to each other as well because they have opposite direction so that means if two vectors are there a and b and another two vectors another vector is there c and d for them to be uh, you know for them to be uh, collinear to each other what should be true absolute of a over b should be equal to absolute of c over d that means they should have the same slope uh, however you should be disregarding the sign completely so let's say we have this question so this question says that we have a vector v that is 3 3 and 4 give us all the possible vectors all the possible collinear vectors with a magnitude of 2 so that means the vector v it's 3 and 4 let's say all the possible collinear vectors are a and b and they have a magnitude that means a square plus b square is actually equal to 2 square so that means this is something which holds true now if I want to find out the vectors which have a magnitude of 2 and they are collinear to this so I can say that 3 over 4 3 over 4 is actually equal to a over b isn't it 3 over 4 should be equal to absolute of 3 over 4 should be equal to the value of absolute of a over b because they both are collinear to each other that means uh, I can say that absolute of a is actually equal to 3 over 4 into absolute of b fine so now if I do that if I actually substitute that in here that is a square plus b square is actually equal to 4 instead of a what I can do I can actually put 3 by 4 of b and I can square it up plus b square is actually equal to 4 so this is going to be 9 over 16 b square plus b square is actually equal to 4 this is going to be 9b square plus 16b square over 16 is equal to 4. This one is going to be 25b square over 16 as is actually equal to 4. That means b square is actually equal to 64 over 25. If I find the value of b, I can get plus 8 over 5 or I can get minus 8 over 5, isn't it? Because if I square root this, I either, either I will get plus 8 over 5 or I'll either get negative 8 over 5. So that means b could be either plus 8 over 5 or negative 8 over 5. Similarly, what I can do is I can actually substitute that in a. I know that absolute of a is equal to 3 fourth of absolute of b. That means absolute of a is actually going to be 3 fourth of 8 over 5. Uh, now this is 2 times 2 and 2 times uh, 2 times 4. And oh, basically this goes at 2, so this is 6 over 5. So if absolute of a is 6 over 5, a could be 6 over 5 or a could be negative 6 over 5. That means that two possible collinear vectors are 6 over 5 and 8 over 5 and another two collinear vectors are negative 6 over 5 and negative 8 over 5. Now how did I pair them up? You can clearly see that when I substituted, uh, when I substituted uh, the value of, I kind of knew that uh, because vector v is has positive positive so it'll either have positive positive or it'll either have negative negative so this is how i actually got these two different vectors now let me go ahead and make life more simple for you now how i'm going to do that so let's say i have a vector v which has a and b so the magnitude of vector v is actually going to be square root a square plus b square let's say i have another vector u which is collinear of this right that is going to have x a and x b Similarly, from here we got that the magnitude of u is actually equal to x times the magnitude of v. So this is something that we got from here. Now magnitude of u is equal to x times the magnitude of v. And uh, if I say that what is equal to the magnitude of u divided by the magnitude of v. So if I say magnitude of u divided by the magnitude of v is actually equal to x. Now what is this x equal to? Now x is actually equal to vector u divided by vector v because what is vector u? Vector u is x a and x b and vector v is just simply a and b. So from here you can clearly see that the magnitude x is just equal to u over v. So that means I can say that magnitude of u over magnitude of v is actually equal to vector u divided by vector v. This is something which holds true for all the collinear vectors. 
So this is something that holds true for all collinear vectors. And again, you have to take a positive and a negative here because this is positive and a negative. This is positive and a negative. So you have to actually take all the positive and all the negative here. Fine. So that means this is something which is going to be true for all the collinear vectors that if two vectors are collinear to each other, that means magnitude of u and magnitude of v is equal to the vector u divided by vector v. Now let's solve our previous problem using that. Now if I solve the previous problem using that, what I'm actually going to get. So I have a vector u, sorry, I have a vector v that is actually 3 comma 4 and I've I want to find all the collinear vectors. I want to find all the collinear vectors with a magnitude of 2. That means the magnitude of the collinear vectors is true. And what is the magnitude of this vector? That is square root 3 square plus 4 square, which is actually equal to square root of 5 square, which is actually equal to 5. So magnitude of u over magnitude of v, so magnitude of u over magnitude of v is actually equal to u over v and a plus and minus here. This is something true for all collinear vectors. That means plus or minus, what is the magnitude of u? Magnitude of u is 2 and magnitude of v is 5 is actually equal to vector u over vector v. Now vector u is something that we are trying to find. So u is equal to plus or minus 2 over 5 into vector v. That means u is equal to plus or minus 2 by 5 and vector v is 3 over 4. Now the two possible values are going to be 2 by 5, 3 over 4 and minus 2 by 5, 3 over 4. That means my vector becomes 3 into 2, 6. Uh, so you can actually, so actually uh, 3 into 2 over 5. Uh, so if you remember the scalar multiplication of vectors, uh, the scalar actually gets multiplied by the both numbers. So here you're going to get the vectors to be 2 into 3 over 4 sorry 2 2 by 5 into 3 and 2 by 5 into 4 and this one is going to become negative 2 by 5 into 3 and negative 2 by 5 into 4. So all in all I'll have the same answer that is 6 by 5 and 8 by 5 and negative 6 by 5 and negative 8 by 5. So actually I'm going to have the same answer. So this is again I'm going to revise what I did here that if two vectors are collinear to each other then those two vectors are going to follow this rule. If two vectors are collinear to each other, they are both going to follow this rule. That is vector a magnitude of u divided by magnitude of v is equal to vector u over vector v. So hope you're able to understand what I'm trying to say here guys. And uh, let's say for example, I'm just going to do another question here. Let's say that question says that uh, we have a vector u that is 2 and 3 and we want to find a collinear vector with a magnitude of 2. So magnitude, magnitude of u by the magnitude of magnitude of v by the magnitude of u is actually v over u and a plus and minus. I already know the magnitude of v that is 2 and what is the magnitude of u? Magnitude of u is going to be square root 2 square plus 3 square which is square root 13 divided by square root 13 is equal to vector v which is actually I'm trying to find and divided by vector u and again a plus or minus. So that means vector v is actually going to be plus and minus 2 over square root 13 and this u goes there and this is 2 and 3. So this will give me two possible ve vectors which have a magnitude of 2 and which are parallel to this here. So I hope you're able to understand my point here guys and uh, this would be about this video guys so thank you very much for watching i'm just going to summarize what i just did here uh, first i laid down a conceptual concept the conceptual concept said that if two vectors if you have a vector u a b and if you have another vector v which is collinear to a b it's going to have the same uh, same direction or opposite direction so you're going to have a plus and minus here you know i skipped that minus in the in the, in the beginning so please uh, you know please forgive me for that then the next thing is that uh, from here we actually found out that magnitude of u by magnitude of v is equal to vector u over vector v and a plus and minus here because it can have the opposite direction as well. So this would be about this video guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and make sure that you give us your valuable like on this Facebook page and uh, explore us on this website and uh, give us your valuable feedback on this email address. So this would be about this video guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one.